Hey there, fellow history enthusiasts! Welcome back to another exciting episode, where we explore the fascinating world of historical inventions that were way ahead of their time. Today, we'll dive into the story of a curious weapon from the 18th century that pushed the boundaries of firearms technology, the buckle gun. So buckle up as we embark on a journey to discover the ingenuity of its creator, James Puckle, and the challenges that ultimately sealed its fate. Don't forget to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more captivating historical content. During the dawn of the 18th century, the period marked by relentless advancements in gun technology, inventors ceaselessly endeavored to forge ever more potent and efficient weaponry. Among these trailblazers was James Puckle, a London-based lawyer who in 1718 patented an intriguing device he dubbed the defense gun, subsequently christened the Puckle gun. While this peculiar yet innovative weapon constituted a substantial leap in firearms technology, its success was ultimately hampered by several design shortcomings. Characterized by a manual operation and a tripod mount, the Puckle gun boasted the capacity to fire dual ammunition types, round bullets for human adversaries and square bullets designed to wreak havoc on ships. The square projectiles devised to inflict greater damage on wooden vessels than conventional round shots, which often bounced off or merely penetrated a few planks, were a remarkable feature. The Puckle gun's distinctive shape was, in itself, unconventional. The weapon consisted of a sizable cylindrical barrel with a breech-loading mechanism situated at its rear. Equipped with six chambers, the barrel could accommodate cartridges, each containing 9 to 11 rounds. Cartridges were fed into the gun through a hinged loading tray, manipulated by a lever located at the weapon's backside. Furthermore, the Puckle gun incorporated an array of sighting apparatuses, such as a telescopic sight and a rudimentary aiming device, adjustable concentric circles tailored to the target size. These attributes rendered the Puckle gun remarkably precise at extensive ranges, outshining its contemporaneous counterparts. Alas, the Puckle gun was plagued by several critical design defects, which diminished its combat efficacy. Among these flaws was its sluggish firing rate. Necessitating manual loading and aiming, the weapon's rate of fire paled in comparison to the rapid-fire armaments that would emerge in subsequent years. Moreover, the Puckle gun's intricate design proved challenging to manufacture, with numerous components requiring skilled artisans for handcrafting, thus inflating production and maintenance costs and preventing mass production for military utilization. Arguably, the most notable drawback of the Puckle gun was its lack of adaptability. Despite its laudable accuracy at extended distances, the weapon faltered in close-quarters combat. Its unwieldy nature and immobile tripod mount rendered it ill-suited for use beyond stationary positions. Though moored by these shortcomings, the Puckle gun has etched its place in firearms history as an intriguing, albeit flawed, innovation. The device was indisputably ahead of its time and laid the groundwork for more sophisticated weapons in ensuing years. Nowadays, the Puckle gun is a scarce and coveted collectible, with a mere few examples known to exist. While not a practical armament in its heyday, it remains a testament to the resourcefulness and vision of its inventor, James Puckle. And there you have it, folks, the captivating tale of the Puckle gun, an innovative yet flawed piece of firearms history that showcased the creative spirit of its inventor, James Puckle. While it may not have revolutionized warfare in its time, it undoubtedly paved the way for future advancements in weaponry. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of the Puckle gun, Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends who love history as much as you do. Don't forget to comment below about other fascinating inventions you'd like us to explore. As always, thank you for joining us in this exciting adventure, and we'll see you in the next episode for more amazing historical discoveries. Until then, stay curious.